Hey everybody, I'm Tektos and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legend. We're playing The Forgotten on Impossible Difficulty. And I came to the realization, realization that uh, five turns will just be enough to get the next stage of the Lust for Loot quest. Because I already took a turn. Uh, so we only have five turns left, so we can sadly only... Well... Technically, we could in turn 5 search that ruin and then stand next to the next ruin with our troops, but highly unlikely that we get that lucky. And we only have like one or two tiles that we can move depending on how close we are to the actual ruin that's going to be highlighted for the next stage of the quest. So, yeah, probably only 80 dust that's... Um, well, that's better than nothing, I'd say. And after that, I want to have my Hawk Shadow, Omar Assassin, kind of close enough to the... I'm assuming that is the Wild Walker capital here, that we'll be able to infiltrate. We got a little bit of influence stockpiled. Well, I <laughs> yeah, we shouldn't call that stockpile, but... You know what I mean. We got a little bit of influence, period. So, we could actually do an invasion. I believe they cost like 14 or 16. Mm. Just sipping on that delicious tea. Uh, excuse me? Oh, right. That is that quest. And... You failed to complete minor faction major trust. How did we act fail that? I don't know. Maybe we ran out of time? <laughs> Whatever. Alright, oh, look at you. There's a nice little ruin for us to loot. 50 dust, not too shabby. And uh, let's sneak closer to the Wild Walker capital. I just have to be careful that I do not run into either minor faction units that are now starting to spawn. At least I thought I saw some... Hmm. I think th some minor faction units were swimming around my coastline here in a boat. And uh, so neither these guys or the Wild Walkers should uh, detect my units. That's... That would be rather bad if that happened. Anyway, so we can... Seven turns still. Wow. Why so much? Mm, six turns actually, but... That is quite a lot. On the other hand though, we don't have anything else to do here. We could go for the management science, but we only can afford like one. So, uh, the... Yeah, the management science is what I want. Yep, that is what I want. Plus one on exploitation. That is a quite useful thing to have indeed. And we do need production to actually advance our uh, military. Yeah, this won't be good. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Or do we postpone that settler? How long of fervent do we have? Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to postpone him. I want to grab as many regions as possible in the early game, and we got stuff to do anyway, so... Should be fine. Should be fine, yeah. Okay, let's uh, keep moving. Well, let's first take a turn, so we can move. And then keep moving. I'm just contemplating... Nah, nah, nah. We're, we're fine. I can't afford the management signs anyway, right? It is... What is that, actually? 275. Yeah, so all that contemplation was kind of... Worthless to begin with. Because uh, we can't really... Get that anyway, alright? No ruins here. I'm gonna take the high road. Mm, okay. 
Isla's ones here. What are you? Temple ruins there. <coughs> oh, anyway. I hope this wasn't the one that we need to... No, okay. <laughs> that would be pretty bad if that was the one that we had to loot for our Lust for Loot quest. And we're already behind, like, by half the points, and the Wild Walkers are running away as usual. 177, and should now, yeah, 188. That is great. It's like you never have a chance to even get close to these guys. What are you? Is that a ruin, or is that a resource? Well, we'll find out. Okay. Okay, for now. Hmm, that is a burned village. Okay. Uh, nothing else I could... Ah, oh, there they are. A couple of minotaurs. And I have to, like, consider getting an army soon. Because these guys will now start pillaging my uh, my mines, if I have some. And for now I don't have any, like I might have the wine, but it's only here underneath the city. So actually the city district is functioning as a mine, but I'm not sure if they can pillage that. I as a player can't, because I can't hit it with my mouse, but maybe the I can. Alright, I think we can afford to, like... Go one turn with losing two food and get that mill foundry faster. And I think I want to get the predators <clears throat> maybe even without any improvements because we can buy them improvements anyway. So we'll just build a couple and uh, build a couple and then improve them later and buy out the improvements. I think that is. Yeah, that's what I'm likely going to do, because I just need some forces soon to deal with the roaming armies. They Oh, hello there. Well, let's see. No, 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 no. I don't want you to mess with my hero. 15 titanium and 20 influence. Well, that... Mm-hmm. Thanks, game. That is, that is great. I like that you put that in a location that I am not ever able to reach. But at least we can now see a little further and maybe get a nice quest here. Come on, be good. Already obtained, okay. Well, I guess we're just gonna sneak up here. At least now I don't have to... Um, decide what to do with my hero. Because now it's pretty clear. Let's see. Search that. 50 more dust. That's nice. And we can already see the exploitation tiles from that city. Hopefully we can see the city when I walk here. That would be perfect. Uh, three turns for the settler. Hmm. I can work on the dust. Uh, well, just with one guy. That's fine. And you got three turns to finish that. One turn to get a new population. Yeah, I think that is actually worth it. And I think... Mm, yeah, I want to have the seed storage a little earlier. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Um... What to do with you guys? Well, I'll just run the hero over here. So he doesn't stand in the way. I can't assign him to the city because I... Maybe. Oh, I failed the quest. That's too bad. And we failed the peace treaty stuff as well. That's fine. And here they go. And they can indeed pillage here. Wow. And these other guys are pillaging down there. Well, that's great. 34? Why are you so expensive? Because it's the capital, I guess. Well, let's not whine. 
let's get on with it. Okay, so now we got our hero infiltrating there. Um, let's see, I don't want to risk getting found out immediately. So uh, let's move these guys over here and maybe... Maybe we go there through the forest, like... Oh, the cliff is... Oh, God, I hate when that happens. Alright, so we should have gone there in the first place, but I was just afraid that there's some units standing here. Ah, and now I'm paying the price for my timidness. Whatever. Oh, hello, Kasanji. Maybe you got an interesting quest for me. Alrighty, so now we got our first invasion done. And uh, let's see what it actually... How it actually works like. Um, so it does cost influence, as you could see. I don't know what it's based off. The, the influence cost for... Uh, for the invasions. I remember that to be a little bit cheaper. Oh, what are you building there? Settler, huh? So we can now, uh, for one... Oh no, just three shamans? 80 production. Well, that is nice. That's a lot more than I could... Nobody's working on that, really? Hmm. I thought they were. Anyway, uh, so we can now see in their city and just pretty much see everything like it was our own. We can browse through the list of buildings, what they already... Well, that's actually not that... Oh, they built a model foundry. Genomic labs, public library, so they're gonna pump out a lot of science. And, um... That is one thing. Then we can perform... Or is there anything else that's interesting here? No, I don't think so. And then we can perform... Uh, infiltration actions. And those depend on how long your hero has been in that particular city that you just invaded. So, all these actions you can perform have, depending on, some uh, some you can perform at, at level 2. But, uh, well, let, let's first start with the, the experience uh, or infiltration level um, gaining. So, your hero gains, uh, what are these called. Well, I think we can see that if we look at the hero, because he has a skill that improves it. Plus five infiltrated. Really, your infiltration points are named infiltrated. Alright. So, you get infiltrated points, uh, kind of. And uh, currently I'm producing ten. And once I got 49.9, which will be in five turns, I'll gain another level of infiltration. And then we'll repeat that process until we're at the max level of five. That's how you gain infiltration levels. These levels allow you to perform certain actions. So, for example, I could decrease the enemy's vision or I could uh, decrease their population. Now, population is a nice example of uh, all five different levels. So, if I do it at level two, it reduces the population by one. And by the way, also costs 16 influence. If I do it at level 3, it'll reduce the population by 2 and so on until level 5 where we reduce the population by 4, which is pretty annoying indeed. Or we can uh, bring the production to a complete stop for 12 turns if we use that here on level 5. Or we can, you know, capture their governor or steal their vision, decrease their morale in fights, which is really helpful later on, and so on. So there's really a lot that can be done here to hurt the enemy. So much so that if you have like four or five spies in their cities, you could really just basically bring their empire to a standstill. And uh, what is the most... Uh, well, you put that... Um, th like the, the sneakiest thing you could do and why these guys are so well suited for their victory type, which is, by the way, the... Uh, not, is it called suppression? Basically where you... Uh, own all the enemy um, capitals is you can reduce the fortification to zero for five uh, for ten turns on level five and uh, so if I sneak like my armies are all stealth right and they're all very 
my units um not so much the assassin but more the uh the the, the predator and uh the myth as well the mist those guys do hit pretty hard and they're very good at they're not so good for prolonged battles but they're very good at what the americans coin to be a surgical strike so i could sneak my army past the enemy defenses and past the enemy lines sneak it right next to their capital then put a spy there drop their fortification to zero and just take the capital in one fell swoop and be done with it that is one victory point for uh, for supremacy and uh, we could just have an army next to each capital which is uh, gonna be four armies and voila we won a supremacy victory of course it's not as easy as that you know, have to do a lot of work leading up to that but still that is why they are so well suited for that type of victory now one more thing as your spy performs actions like if we level him up to level two and decrease the population he will gain what is called seniority and that is just a flat bonus that could go up to 20 that will be added on to your infiltration level production so instead of 10 I'll produce 10 plus whatever seniority I have up to 20 here so it's gonna be 30 in total 10 from my capacity plus 20 from the max seniority now you gain like four to eight seniority somewhere in that range or five to eight on uh, on an action you do and uh, these guys have if we take a look there a skill that could increase your seniority bonus by 50 percent and then by another 50 which uh, in total means 100 i think it works like that is it the base times 1.5 and then times 1.5 again which basically is 100 so yeah Never mind. Uh, <laughs> so we could, once we get that to level 2, really level our spies very fast. The problem is though, it does cost influence using uh, these actions. So we're kind of limited by that. And every time we perform an action, there's a risk of getting wounded or even disabled. Which is like, you're gonna be wounded to, I think, zero health and you're gonna get ejected from the city and it's gonna take like 10 or 20 turns depending on the other skills your hero has to uh, recover from that or of course you can pay some money to do that as well so that's how the new infiltration and spy or espionage system works and I I played around with it a little bit but I wouldn't call myself an expert on that so I guess there's subtleties to it that I didn't mention there or that I just that I'm just not really aware of well let's see can we no can we no okay should we no where was I well I guess we're, we're done with the infiltration so you, you're gonna see how it works as I'm using it but it, it's actually not that complicated and is a nice uh, even though very annoying addition to the game like annoying if you're the one receiving the ooh 25 spices yeah i want that a deacon in five turns where's a deacon that's this here this here region yeah i would love to have that hopefully there's there's no enemy units there spawning all right so we do need the management science now or do we Is there anything I want more? No, I don't think so. We all need a lot of influence, obviously, but... No, uh, oh, management science is fine. Right, let's get that. And queue up the apprenticeship registry. But uh, first, let's see... Uh, actually, I'm going to do a new design, because we're going to call you the Budgetor. 
Alrighty, uh, we just have the regular equipment and it's gonna stay like that for quite a while. Um, so actually here you can see what the dual wielding means. You can equip him with two different bows. So I could, of course, give him two level one bows, but I could also give him a level two and a level one, like you just saw. If I so wanted that, but actually, alright. So that is that, and uh, the Predators, they have, uh, well, just one mechanic, which is the, the Predator's Mark, which is makes them very, very good at focus firing down units, and that is when you hit a unit, for each mark, you uh, deal 20% extra damage, and they can go up to three marks on an enemy unit, so up to 60% extra damage. Combine that with the already high attack and uh, well not high damage value but you know with the right weapon it can be can go up a lot it really it's really easy to focus down even uh, the the meteor tankier type of unit so I really like that about them now we're gonna go for the helmet because it provides extra attack and health and with the boots because of the initiative and I think I need improved movement as well 240 that's already yeah I think we'll just go with that for now no chest plate and let's see how long they take I think seven turns yeah seven turns here and uh, four turns here. All right, that is actually manageable. Yep, that is manageable. Okay, uh, let's sneak around a little. Where are you going? So there's a ranger, and it just is here, and your rangers are going up here. So maybe I. I don't want to be found out, because if they see me, they're going to declare war on me pretty soon. So let's just try and sneak around here and come in that way and maybe see what's adjacent to them. They already started colonizing here. But I do want to prolong the diplomatic, the official diplomatic contact as long as possible. And as you can see, they have a question mark. I technically don't know who they are, or technically don't know the race, so I want to keep it like that. Don't need new friends, we got enough. And I need an army though. These guys are become very annoying very quickly. For now though, we're at the end of the episode. Next one, we're gonna find a place for this guy to live. Likely either here, or maybe I'm gonna grab this region. Let's actually see what option do we have. I definitely want Quarar and S what are you? Saikiki? I'm just gonna call him Saikiki. It, it's a C here, right? Uh, anyway, um, as if these guys are not hard enough to pronounce already, you're just gonna put put a die deposit in the middle of a letter so I can't even read it. So we want these two, and I think it's pretty much granted we... Or is it? It could be connected up here. So I maybe shouldn't take it for granted. So this region here also has an interesting minor faction that I likely want to assimilate. Because the Dorgeshi, they don't do much for me. We don't need more luxur luxury resources at the moment. Seraton, definitely useless. Guerin as well. What would be very interesting are the Kasanji over here, but they're really close to the Wild Walkers. And the region itself is a little... Well, it's, it's interesting. It's gonna provide at least a decent production and we could like form a line. But again, there's no dust to speak of. Uh, so the only region with dust is this, which sucks otherwise. Well, it actually doesn't really suck. Yeah, it does suck. The, the problem with these regions is that if you 
They're basically to see like these sandstone tiles. Because if I build districts on this, it's gonna lose one, uh, one food, and they only produce one food to start with. So there we go. We could build a city here though. And then do what? Triangle like so. We're gonna lose this tile, but. Ah, uh, well, that's adjacent to the... Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, like, study it intently off-screen and uh, gonna say goodbye for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, there's a little like button you could use and a uh, comment box. Or a thumbs down and a comment box if you disliked it. At least give me a reason for it, right? What else? Have a great day. See you around for the next episode. Until then, goodbye.